Okay, we are working on chapter 9, uh, lesson 9.2, ordered pairs. So this is using graphs to determine um, plots on a graph, so points on a graph. Um, I obviously do not have graph paper. This would work way better with a smart board, which I do not have in my house. So we are just going to be looking at how you determine where something is. So I made this graph a little bit bigger to make sure that you could see it properly. So it's only going to go um, up to uh, 6 on each side on um, the x-axis and the y-axis. So um, the most important part of what I want you to get out of this is knowing where the axes are. So your bottom going across the bottom, your horizontal line, is always the x axis. Okay. Your line, your vertical line going up and down is always your y axis. So when you give me your answer, when you figure out what your answer is for your plot points, x is always going to be the first number. And y is always going to be the second number. All right, so that is the most important part of this entire lesson. Um, if you don't put your numbers in the right order, it will not be correct because your plot will be in a completely different place. So um, what you will be working on is labeling where your plot points are by giving me your numbers. So your x-axis, which is horizontal across, that's always going to be your first number that you write down. Your uh, vertical line here, the y-axis, is always, always going to be the second number. So when we start here, okay, so we're going to look at a. a equals what point? So we're going to count over because x goes first. So a is over 2. And I'm going to do this in a different color. This is going to be very um, easy when you're looking at it on graph paper, but it's a lot harder when you're not. So I'm going to draw lines in a different color so we can see a little bit better. Um, I will be posting lesson 9.2 so that you can see the actual lesson on graph paper and you guys can look and get some extra practice with that too. And then your Google form, I'm trying to figure that one out, but I believe it's just going to be looking at the numbers and you telling me where they're at. Um, so you're just giving me whole numbers for your answers. So A is going to be at the 2 point. So F is always the first number you write, so that's 2. And when we write our ordered pairs, there's always a comma in the middle. So when you give me your answer, it has to have a comma in the middle. No, so 2, comma. comma, and then the second number. If you don't write it like that in your answer on the Google form, it is going to mark it wrong because you have to have it written in this way. Um, anytime you do ordered pairs, they always have to be written that way. So we have 2, comma, and then we go over to our y-axis, and that number is at what number? 3. 3. Great. So we're going to write 3, and that's our second number. So A is at the ordered pair of 2, comma, 3. So next we're going to go to letter B. And the x-axis is always first, so it's over to number what? What number is here? Three. Three. So that's our first number, comma. And then we go over oh. to number one. One. So our answer is three, comma, one. Well, right. we Next, we're going to go to letter C. Like there's two, three. Yes, there are two threes so far. So next we're at C, and C is starting with 4, four comma, and we're going over to 2, 4, comma, 2 is our answer. Next we're at D, so D is up here, so D is at number 5. 
five, comma, and then our x our y axis is also five, so it would be five comma five. Five comma five. And then our last letter here, E, is over here. And we have E at six. Six comma. And E is going to match up two with what? Number three. Three. So we have Six comma three. Three. That's right. Oh. See, even a four-year-old can do this. Pretty simple, I hope. That's all you're doing for this. You're looking at the order what pairs. Is, That's what you're writing the numbers down for the letter that it matches up to. Um, when you look at lesson nine point two, the second part of it is having you label on the um, grid. You can definitely try that, even if you're a little bit bored at home, whether you have graph paper or not. You can set it up like this and just kind of make up where your lines go. Um, you can sit and draw out lines if you're really, really bored. Um, I think some of you may be at that point of quarantine where maybe you want to draw a graph on your paper. Go for it. Um, it's giving you the letter, and then it's giving you the number that it should be at. So. You want to look at those as well. So, for example, if it says um, the letter R needs to be at 0, 4, 0 is always your first number on the x-axis, so it would be 0, which is our first line here, and a 4, you would go up to 4, and that would be your plot point right there. And that would be where you put the letter that goes Mama, with that ordered pair. Don't erase my board, thank you. And um, that's really it for the lesson. So the most important part again is knowing your x-axis across the bottom, your y-axis goes horizontally up and down, and that when you write your ordered pairs, x always goes first, y is always the second number in your pair. Okay, so once you look over lesson 9.2 on the PDF, um, definitely practice them at home, and then your Google form is going to be just giving me the numbers. Make sure you put that comment in between before you submit, or else your answer is going to be marked wrong, and I'm going to have to go back in and correct your answers for you if you gave me the right numbers. So help me out. Put the comment in. All right. Thank you.